So it's been about six months since I first started using the Trend Micro Home Network Security Station to protect my Wi-Fi and my smart home network. There have been some updates and new features added in that time, and this is one of those things that I've just been using with my setup every day. So I figured today I'd give you a little update and just share with you my experiences in using this thing for the past six months. Let's go. Yo, what's going on guys? Thanks so much for joining me. For those new here, my name is Shane and on this channel I am building an easy smart home using HomeKit with new smart home videos dropping every single Sunday right here. Now today we're going to talk about something pretty important. We're talking about the security of your network and your smart home devices. About six months ago I started using something called the Trend Micro Home Network Security. Now first of all, full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Trend Micro. Uh, they did send me this device for free you know, back when I first got it. So thank you to Trend Micro for sending me that and for sponsoring this video. But it's important you guys know, as always, I'm not being obligated to say anything and I'm gonna give you my honest feedback and opinions about this device just like I always do. Now I did make a video about this back then after using it for a little while where we go through the unboxing, we talk about all the features of the app and do a full walkthrough of everything included. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to check out that video as well. Like I said, I wanted to revisit this today because this is something I have been using every day as a part of my smart home setup. It's been getting a lot of use and they've added some new features and some updates along the way. And I just wanna share with you how I've kind of benefited from using this thing over the past six months. So first of all, if you're unaware, Trend Micro is a well-known and trusted name in the you know cybersecurity and antivirus world. They've been around for a long time. A lot of companies have been using them for a long time for their antivirus software. Now, the problem with traditional antivirus software is you know, you use that on your computers, tablets, maybe even your phones. Until recently, there hasn't really been a great way to kind of protect yourself, your network, and everything from vulnerabilities through all your internet of things, devices like light bulbs, and anything connected to your Wi-Fi. Uh, so Trend Micro created this device here to use. You basically plug this into your router. It scans all traffic passing in and out of your home network, allowing it to prevent intrusions, block hacking attempts, and web threats on anything connected connected to your router. And let me tell you, it does work. As a bonus, you get some really great tools around family privacy and protection, which I'm gonna talk about. The best way to show you how well this thing works is just to show you, we're gonna jump in here. But first of all, just so you know, I am using a Netgear Orbi mesh Wi-Fi router. Now this is supposed to be compatible with most routers. They have a compatibility list on their website. I'll put resources to all the information down in the description below that you can check out as well. So let's go ahead and jump into this and I'm gonna show you you my favorite features and show you how well this thing has worked over the past few months. So what I'm gonna do is open up my home network security app here on my phone and you can actually see I've got two notifications right there so we can check that out uh, but I'm gonna open that up now. Okay so this is the dashboard here I really love this view this is probably what I use the most. You can see up top it's green it shows you how many devices are connected if there's any issues that changes like a yellow or kind of reddish color. There's this nice little summary view which I love you can see web threats block the number of devices with unusual network activity, which I'm gonna mention. Uh, total devices, 62. So this is all the devices that have connected to my Wi-Fi. So you can tap into this. I'll tap into it and you can see all the stuff here. Uh, and you can actually filter this between all devices and online devices. So you can see that difference right there, 62 versus 45. But I'm gonna go back. Underneath you have kind of your parental controls and you can see what's going on there. And you can see right there I have one new event underneath the parental controls. I also have one new event under the devices with unusual network activity. So you can tap the show more and it's gonna kind of show you underneath each one of these uh, in the summary, a little bit more information. So that's great. And of course you can tap into these for further information. So this inappropriate websites blocked or visited, that is coming in through my parental controls that I have set up here. Also mentioning this check device button up here at the top, you can use this to do a scan of all your connected devices. So if you wanna do a scan at any point, you can do that manually right there. And to quickly go through this dashboard, if we scroll down, you can see my family members here. So uh, you can set these up, you can add more 
as many as you want. You have a guest account, which you can add people underneath there or devices to that. I actually have a user set up that is just for my smart home stuff so you can tap devices and you can see all the stuff that I have just under my smart home so if I tap into here and choose any one of these uh, accessories you can really get all the information about it Mac ID you can see what ports it's using all kinds of really great stuff here if you need to dive in deep for all that and I really love the ability to kind of categorize people and users and devices this way you'll also see under each user that pause button that's really powerful there so we'll talk more about that but essentially you can just hit that button to pause the internet for any user and any device under that user I call that the God button if you have kids you know if you pause their internet their whole world just crashes down so anyways uh, we're gonna keep scrolling underneath you see top attacked devices this is really great this is coming handy for me big time so you can see when there is an attack on your device and this does apply to your internet of things devices as well and at the very bottom you can see your network usage you can tap into this you can see which devices have the most upload and download usage right there so it's a great way to kind of keep track of what's going on on your network so we're gonna go back up to the top and if I show you web threats blocked if I tap into this here we see web threats blocked okay so there's only one th web threat blocked and it shows you whose phone it was and what device you can actually tap into it and get uh, more information the URL what kind of attack it was you can add it to an approved list if you wish but I'm gonna go back. Next one we'll talk about, let's tap on the devices with unusual network activity. Obviously, if you have uh, a light bulb or you know these small devices, they should not be uploading stuff you know, to the internet a lot or, or pinging servers a lot with a lot of traffic. So because of this smart alert here, you can see if there's unusual traffic detected, which is really cool. Now you will see here on mine, uh, my wife's computer, uh, there's some unusual activity there, so I'm gonna have to ask her what she's been doing on there, what's going on. So you see right here, I have a light strip and then my Philips Hue bridge uh, underneath. There's the abode gateway down here. Usually when a smart home device shows up on here like these do, it's because I ran an update. And of course, when you're updating firmware, you're gonna get that traffic. Um, so I did actually update all these recently, so that's what's showing up on here. But that's just a really cool feature. You get these alerts. If something's not right, you just get a quick alert and you can kind of go in and you can actually dive in a little bit deeper. Uh, it'll show you when it happened. You can see there, give you suggestions on what to do. You can even click view details and see more information. You can tap into it and see what ports they're using so you can research that, make sure it's no you know, sketchy unknown ports. Just a lot of really nice, powerful features in here. Now if we go back to our summary, again, I'm just talking about the summary, the dashboard, because I live here a lot. This is mostly what I use. Uh, the parental controls, again, you can tap on this and you can see exactly what's going on. I can see, so this is based, and I'll get into more of this in a minute, but this is based on the uh, the content filtering and stuff that I've set up for each individual user. So for example, my daughter, you know, she's young, she's not allowed to visit social media websites and things like that. So I have it filter out all that and I get notified if she's doing anything that will ping those websites. And you would be amazed or maybe you wouldn't how many times Facebook gets pinged on here and she doesn't even try to use Facebook. She's just doing other things with apps or whatever and everything seems to ping Facebook. And going back, let's talk about the family section a little bit more here. Let's tap on my son Kobe, he is in high school. You can just tap on them from the main dashboard as a quick way to access uh, their profile and all their stuff. You can see here, I can pause the internet again. I can even pause just YouTube. So that's really nice. I know that'll come in handy. You get a little timeline at the bottom for all the stuff, maybe when the internet was blocked because of your time schedules or when they tried to access websites they weren't supposed to access. You can see all that right here. And now we'll go over to the parental controls and this is some really nice stuff here if you're a parent. Uh, first of all, this is one of the new things they added since my original review is the Trend Micro Guardian. Okay, so I'm gonna tap on this just to show you. I have not set this up on his phone yet. I did set this up on my daughter's iPad recently. But if I tap on this, it'll show you introducing Trend Micro Guardian. And what this will do is this will allow you to have the same protection as you do on your Wi-Fi network for that child's devices 
even when they're outside of your network. So when they're using the cellular network, for example, if they have a cell phone, if they're using a cell phone like my high schooler, if he leaves my network, I still have the same amount of protection on that phone. So you can see here, mobile devices use the same rules as inside your home. Your child is protected online on all networks, set time limits and block access both inside and outside your home. So when you set this up, if you create those kind of time schedules and restrictions, stuff like that's gonna carry over even when they leave your network. The time limits right here is something that's really great. So since COVID and school has kind of been out, uh, I haven't been too strict about this, but uh, you can see right here, I have this little time limit set up and what's really nice about this is i could just toggle it on or off and what this does is it's going to cut off his internet everything at midnight so that means everything he uses under his profile so his roku you know to watch tv his xbox whatever if i need him to get up in the morning to go to school i can just toggle this on and during those days it's going to cut it off at midnight you know and of course you can change and customize these settings however you want you can add rules for different days really great stuff here and, that, and then going back to the dashboard it's really nice because all this stuff that i've accessed i can access all that right from the dashboard so the user interface and the way they've set this up is really good. I'm pretty happy with this. Oh, you can see there, there's a checkup in progress right now. So periodically, this device is going to just scan all your devices without you doing it. Kind of does it in the background. Like I said, you can do it manually, but you can see it's doing one right now. So uh, and the only other section that I really use on here a lot is the timeline. So if you get a notification on your phone like we had originally, uh, that is going to show up in the timeline. So you can go here, refresh this, and this is where you're going to get those notifications. It's going to show you everything that happens. So you can see uh, here we got the unusual activity detected. Underneath we got the parental uh, notification going on. Underneath that another unusual activity detected. You can see underneath that the home network security station actually updated. So uh, this is a good thing here and you can see that it is being updated. Usually if you're paying something yearly or monthly or whatever, you're paying a subscription, you want to make sure that they're continuing to improve the device, the subscription, whatever that you're paying for. And I can tell you there have been a number of updates since I first installed this thing and they have added features like the parental guardian feature. So really good stuff and I'm happy to see these updates and features being added. Now you can also set this thing to get notified when new devices join your network. So that's a really great feature. Those of you who have teenagers and kids may know what I'm talking about. The struggle is real there. They're gonna try to keep finding ways around your stuff, but that's great. So if they bring home some other device and try to get it on your network, you're gonna get notified immediately. So uh, just some really great stuff for parents, some really great stuff for your smart home. You're protecting all your devices on your network. Now it is fair to note that this will not replace antivirus software on your computers. You're still gonna to wanna to use that stuff just like you always have, but this here, provides added security for all of your internet of things, accessories and devices. And you can also just monitor that network traffic and everything kind of going on on your Wi-Fi network really easily. I did discuss Wi-Fi speeds and did some testing in my last video that showed, you know, kind of the comparison using this versus without. Obviously all the traffic is being scanned by this. So there's gonna be some slight slowdowns uh, when you're using something like this, but I stream all of our TVs. Like I said, I've got kids, we, you know, my spouse, we're all watch different TVs and stuff and stream at the same time. And I have not experienced any issues. Everything still, you know, works just fine. No issues streaming 4K content and stuff like that. Now this thing currently comes in at about $110. It's been at that price point for a while. If you decide this is something that you wanna get and add to your smart home setup, I've got an affiliate link in the description below as well as a discount code that can save you $20. Now this device does require a subscription as well, but the first year subscription is included, so you don't have to pay for the subscription for the first year. And after that first year, it's $59 per year for the subscription. But I'm here to tell you after I've been using this thing for the past six months and seeing all the features and everything that is included with this subscription, I will be renewing this myself after the first year. You know, a lot of the nice new routers like mesh Wi-Fi routers and stuff have a lot of these features maybe built in. 
Uh, sometimes you can add you know, another subscription on top of it to get some added security and things like that. Um, I haven't found one that I've used that has quite the feature set that this thing has here. And I've been using it every day. It has some really great, strong, robust features that are just great if you have a lot of devices on your network that you wanna protect. It's also great if you have family members and if you kind of have both then you know this thing is just a win-win i've loved having it like i said i'm going to renew my subscription i really can't speak highly enough about this thing if you like this video please give it a thumbs up that does help me out that helps other people find these videos and every week we're putting out new home kits smart home videos right here on this channel so if that's something you're into be sure to subscribe click the bell icon so you don't miss out when we drop those new videos thank you guys so much for watching and until next week we'll see y'all later Thank <laughs> you.